Well, let's let's jump into some of the like more detailed stuff about sure. Um, you know, terminology. I mean, you mentioned um, uh, heat treating there a minute ago. Yep. A few minutes ago. So uh, last time we talked, we we jokingly said, you know, some people say in the industry they they want to uh, de-stress. I don't know what it was we talked about, but it was sometimes you people say these things and they're not exactly accurate in what they're saying. So, yeah, you know, I think, I think for any, uh, any person who's, who's on the technical side, terminology is important. And I think we, um, as engineers, we sometimes seek kind of very precise terminology for, for, I think, good reason. Um, yeah. But, you know, and when when we run into imprecise terminology, what we were talking about specifically was was heat treatment and and a uh, you know a stress relief is different than annealing, right? It would, as a, as a specific uh, heat treatment, right? The the goal is different. Um, there are some commonalities, right? You're at a, you're at a lower temperature, and uh, you're not trying to accomplish um, some very fancy heat treatment aims. But uh, in stress relief, you're really just trying to you know. It, it is what it says in the tin, right? Relieve stress. Um, there's uh, there's stress in the material from from thermal cycling, from you know, let's say you're welding, right? Uh, harken back to your to your first guest, right? Yeah. Um, let's say you're welding. Uh, the area around the weld cools, and there's some thermal stress there um, mm -hmm. because of the difference in cooling rate. Um, you know that weld might might break right if it's under if it's under tension um, by heat treating at a lower temperature um, than you might normally you can uh, allow that that stress to equalize and leave a relatively stress free microstructure. Okay, so if you, if you had a weldment, you know, let's say it's made out of whatever, it doesn't really matter for this. It, it, it really doesn't matter. It, there's there's uh, stress relief heat treatments all around. Yeah. So, is that are you gonna are you gonna take that weldment and throw it in the oven, assuming you have an oven big enough? I mean, are you gonna bring everything to the same temperature, or are you gonna focus on the specific section that is stressed? I mean, you you really could do either. It kind of depends on what the overall aim is, right? If you're just looking for local stress relief, yeah, you can do it. You can do it locally. You just don't want to make you want to make sure to avoid the situation that got you there in the first place, right? If you if you heat treat something locally, are you creating another thermal gradient that creates more thermal stress okay so um, so ideally what would you want to do like to get the i you know your best situation i mean for a well that you know i i think you you put the whole thing in a in an oven and a furnace whatever the depending on the material and and you know let it do a low temperature stress relief heat treatment right um, and what are the numbers and the timeline do you know do you know the, that? the numbers and the timeline is is highly materials dependent there's a whole industry out there uh, of heat treaters that can um you know for it's different for steel it's different for, for titanium it's different for aluminum and, and you know it's a function of what's the melting point what are there any uh phases or you know changes in the microstructure that happen at, at temperatures um is there is there a concern about uh, about you know a, a surface reaction with heat? Right. Um, you know, titanium um, reacts really strongly to oxygen. So you increase the temperature. You know, that's how you get all those pretty colors you'll see around a titanium weld. You know, or why titanium is welded in vacuum. Yeah, yeah. And you're fine in steel, right? So the the uh, the answer, the quick answer for stress relief, you know, it's going to be a low temperature. What that low temperature is depends on the, right. it's a low temperature for long enough, um, okay. you know, and, and of course that's, you know, it's kind of a cop-out answer, but that's, you know, if you, if you, if you search out, you know, the, the information for the specific alloy you're using, I mean, that's why there's a whole industry of, of heat treatment professionals. Okay. okay. Fair enough. 